Welcome to Martin here, Mustard Games, RimWorld Alpha 8, brand new Alpha 8, uh, which arrived I think a day or two ago, uh, and I haven't had time to uh, record, so, uh, to start a series, so I thought I'd start a series now, which is absolutely fantastic. So, um, a lot has changed, there's the new temperature system that tracks temperatures indoors and outdoors, uh, so you, from the Arctic all the way up to sort of jungle biomes, you can be really, really hot or really, really cold, and equally then, uh, your characters, your your little uh, toons can get hypothermia and they can freeze and they can get heat stroke and burns and that sort of thing. And then clothing can um, help to protect against temperature and um, temperature changes throughout the day and throughout the year. So they have seasons, uh, you know, spring, summer, winter. I don't think they're quite cold that called that but we'll see and also there are events for sort of I think like droughts sort of cold hot sort of things and also you can have heaters and coolers so you can also have sort of um cold rooms for your food and sort of like kitchen area and that sort of thing um snow snow is a new thing and can accumulate and it gets deep and your characters get slowed down if they travel over it uh, so you can clean you have to clear it or you can clear it and you can also sort of melt it um uh, and the uh, boreal forest and the tundra have actually now been launched which is great uh i don't know if i'm quite going to play in the tundra to this one but uh well i think we'll definitely do the forest uh he's they've added a whole new load of sort of crafting stuff so you can now do sculptures and they've i think they've changed the clothing uh, so you can i think you can make everything now and you can also make melee weapons and there's also as well hopefully we'll see there's an unfinished part to the crafting you know so somebody creates an object and puts like you like building an object if you're crafting an object you put time and hours into building it before it becomes a thing uh, new content so there's new animals uh, new plants um, there's, I think, medicines, herbal medicines and that sort of thing. There's some new weapons, um, new sort of uh, events uh, to do with animals. Also, there's cryopods, ancient cryopods, um, and they shines that generate on the map. Um, apparently, they cannot be friendly at all and they can sort of hurt you. They're, they've tweaked the economy in the trader uh, sections a bit. Uh, more deeper stats... Um, new songs, which hopefully we'll hear. Uh, apparently, you can also now release prisoners, and you can change hotkeys and stuff. Not I've really played with hotkeys much, uh, and loads of other little bits and bobs. So, of course, head to the RimWorld game to find out more. And we're gonna sort of delve in uh, as ever. We'll we'll get going. I think the mission should always be as ever really get off the planet uh, or die trying, uh, and we'll see how things go. Uh, so let's create. Uh, uh, well, no. Can we can we use our old world? I'm just trying to think now. Do we need to create world? Probably not, actually. Oh, let's try it. What did I put here? I think I put mustard last few times, and that that I think generate. There we go. That's our world. Um. Okay, that's quite cool. Yes, yeah, so we can see the rainfall. We can also zoom in. Uh, and we can see the temperature as well. Hot. Cold, I assume. Middle. So, uh, that's cool. So we'll save that finish. We'll go to a new colony. I think we'll do the... Um, Curves and Challenger and Tension. Is it the... Phoebe base builder that I like to go to between disasters to relax and put a bit beware if she set a high challenge scale she'll hit as hard as anyone so we'll do casual oh uh yeah that's the one we've so select our landing uh, our landing site so that is a boreal forest growing periods as well we've got temperate forest I think we've done a lot done a lot in temporal forest tundra 
desert. So let's do let's do a boreal forest. Although if we do something like that, oh that's that's a bit mountainous actually, and I always do like mountains. Um or that one even. Or there even. Let's go there. Oh okay, that's cool. I hadn't really noticed that before, but you can have sort of part of part of it. Let's let's do that. Let's do that. Select site. Right, so this is where I need to fiddle around until I'm happy, so I will be back in a second. Right, so um, I've been flicking around for a while actually, and I've got my miner here. So 10. Not bad with medicine actually. Um, our shooter. So Dimitri is our sort of hunter gatherer type. You know, good good cooking actually. Not bad constructional growing, and we have our researcher and cooking and medicine and all sorts. So here we go. Right. So let me just have a look. See where we are. Let's have a look around. So we've got lots of. It's quite a nice little entrance way bit. So we've got lots of um, uh, mountains to explore. Some possible rooms to go and dig into, which could be quite good. We've got three lots of uh, sarcophagi, ancient cryo uh, cryo thingies, which could be quite interesting. Um, so this is the arboreal forest that I've jumped, dropped myself into. Um, what's this? Is that metal? No, compacted steel. That could be quite useful. Um, oh, what's that? That's silver. Grab that. We'll grab that. So we've sort of set up in a little bit of an alcovey bit, which I do quite like actually. And we've got that as well. So yeah, we'll, we will actually we'll stay here, I think. I think we'll keep this place our base. Which is always good. So, who's... You are a researcher. You are a researcher. It's Dimitri our... Yeah, Dimitri's our shooter. So equip that. We've got medicine... Who was the guy at Mealy? Um, well, equip that, equip that. So let's claim. Need sort of uh, yep, 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 yep. Know all that. I know all that. So let us build some bits. Let's first, let's claim this bit here. Might as well claim this because then we can put a wooden bed down. And we're going to put structure, structure even. Uh, just, just put a wooden door uh, there. And we'll, we'll put two wooden doors in, why not? Let us put, what is this? Is that just cross end? Let us put some zones in. So zone, let's put a stockpile zone. Let's make that a stockpile zone. Let us have a growing zone. We'll have that as a growing zone. Um, let us mine, orders mine. Let's mine through to that and see see what we can do. See where we get to. Compacted steel. There's quite a lot of resources just floating around, actually, which is quite good. Yeah, look, it's just resources everywhere. It 
So they're starting to grow, starting to pick stuff up, which is always good. Let us. So there's a new bit, power. So we now have wind turbines. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, we have wind. So we obviously don't start with thermal generators anymore. My gosh. Okay. Well, let's just build that there. See how we go on. So I think maybe so we've got some temperature control stuff. So we've got campfires. So it's outdoors at 16 degrees. Should we see if they're actually like thoughts? Are they cold? Are they warm? They seem to be okay, I think. Um, indoors is quite cold. 11 degrees is actually quite cold, actually. So we could put a heater in. Why not? Um, power. Run some power conduits to that. Now, I don't quite know what to do with these sarcophagi because apparently they can be a bit deadly. Um, or they can be friendly. But in the absence of not knowing either way. <laughs> oh, blocked by pine trees. Oh, okay. Interesting. So we need to order and uh, chop wood. Yeah, that would be interesting. So, let us also get building on, is it misc? Misc, misc, misc. Nope. Oh yeah, so we got butcher's tables, tailor's workbench, smithing bench, sculptor's cable, cook stove, steel research bench. So we're going to put um, cook stove on. And a research bench, but we're going to do a wooden research bench. And we'll just dump it straight in the middle. Why not? Because we do need to get get researching. <laughs> 